Hi everyone. I recently discovered a new piece of software called Virtual Lychee Mission. And what this does is it allows you to export your mission out of Lychee uh, Mission Hub and actually upload it into Google Earth. Now stay with me. I know most people know that you can do that um, in a KML or um, file or whatever, but this is a little different. This actually allows you within Google Earth to fly the mission. You hit play and it, it recognizes your, your camera pitch, your heading, everything. Uh, it's supposed to completely represent what your flight is supposed to look like. Um, if you're interested in that piece of software, there's some videos that I watched that help me uh, locate the file, the software, um, install it, and actually use it. Um, they were very helpful. What I want to talk about today is comparing the virtual to the reality. Um, so what we'll do is, um, I was already planning on flying this mission over one of our local bridges. Um, I went ahead, I flew that, um, but I also used that lychee mission, exported into the virtual lychee mission, um, imported into Google Earth, and recorded uh, what the virtual mission looked like so that I could compare the virtual with the actual reality. Um, so I want to show that with you now today. It uh, wasn't too many videos I felt um, were showing that. Um, so I think you'll be very impressed at how well this software actually does work. As we start off, it looks really, really good. Um, everything's in line. Um, the first and the major issue, uh, a couple of major issues I had was the first half of this flight where we get here to the peak uh, of this bridge and my camera uh, pitch shifts unexpectedly for no reason um, uh, from from waypoint one to waypoint two um, in both cases it was it was pointed at the the same point of interest but I don't know why I did that if you have any idea uh, feel free to leave a comment um, below and let me know what you think potentially went wrong on that um, the next thing again this part I was disappointed in because I loaded it and programmed it to go completely um, straight. I wanted it to go straight across the screen. Um, and while the drone did still go the distance of the bridge right down the middle, love that shot, love that shot. Um, it stayed in the middle, but it went, it, its heading made it go at an angle like this. Um, so I'm gonna have to reshoot that um, and maybe adjust the, the heading uh, right there on the spot um, during the mission. Then my uh, my drone lost video signal. Warning, disconnected. You gotta hate that sound, you hate that voice. Um, so what I did is I reloaded the mission, deleted the first half of the, um, the waypoints, and then picked up from the second half. And uh, so here we are now, picking up from the second half. All right. Yeah, you'll notice I, I had to speed up and slow down some of the clips so that they run in parallel. Um, Google Earth will only play the mission at one consistent speed, so if you don't set your your drone to that same speed through Lychee each time, if you want to have variable speeds, it's not going to match up. Um, but <clears throat> second half looks um, nearly perfect. I think they uh, the the virtual mission really came out and represented the actual mission uh, perfectly. Um, of course, I wasn't doing anything too complex there like I did with the first half, but um, so any of your basic missions, as long as you're not trying to do anything um, too creative, uh, it should come out perfect, I think, every time. Um, so you can see it's very smooth and it seems to mirror each other very, very well. Um, so with that being said, you know, uh, hopefully, uh, this answered your question about whether or not they match up well and whether you can trust the, the virtual mission to look like your um, your actual final product. Um, again, check out the links in the description and uh, it'll help you install um, Virtual Lychee Mission so that you can try this yourself. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I hope it helped you. And uh, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you later. Goodbye.